Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another really interesting review. Thanks for watching this time with another Old of Frankish's full wheel. This one is from Brauerei Witzkal, located in Schlammersdorf. And it's a full wheel, 4.7% volume, founded 1761, brewmaster Helmut Witzkal. And I've heard many good things about this one, so high expectations of it. And it comes in this uh, Euro bottle. It's called the Thick Bottle Style, and um, this brewer is having two beers, this Vollbeer and the uh, Landbeer, which is an unfiltered Landbeer, but the Vollbeer is the most sold one from this brewer, so that's why I'm having this one right here uh, to, uh, to review. As you can see, Vollbeer, it says on the uh, top label, and classic look of the front label and if I read through the information of course also there's the top cap um, Schlammerstoff for Breuhaus Brauerei Abfüllung Wir Adam Friedrich Bischof zu Bamberg und Würzburg Er teilen Brau, Schank und Schild Gereichigkeit 19 Oktober 1761 Nach dem Reilschen Reinheitsgebot von 1516 gebraut. 1811 ähm, Witzgall Bier zu Tatten, Wasser, Kirselmalz, Apfel, Hopfenextrakt. Äh, Hallondorf, Schlammersdorf. So it's close to Hallondorf, the quite big town of Hallondorf that has at least two brewers as far as I know, which is Riedmeier and Liebert. And I'm gonna review that one. That one's also in the future, of course, but this is all about uh, Witzgall, and I'm going to read through some information uh, that I found on their Wanderers website. I don't think this brew is having any uh, website, so I can't link to, to this brewer's website since they don't have any website. Um, Schlammersdorfer Straße 17 in Hallendorf. Egolsheim st station is 2 kilometers away. Uh, any allowed put 1200 hectolitres founded uh, 1811 and still in the same family with uh, Witzkal manning the kettle. This classic small brewery is readily accessible and offers up to true rural experience with a little effort. That said, it seemed like another world entirely in 2002 when I asked my uh, girlfriend and now wife to take me here with her car on uh, the way back from visiting her parents in Saxony. It was before uh, GPS was common in cars and Google, and Google Maps. In fact, we had no map whatsoever and I had to rely on asking in local gas station. My wife is German but returned to the car saying that she couldn't understand what the attendant had said due to his thick Franconian dialect. We found it, but um, there were only old, four older guys and the brewer within and all looked at us, being a bit perplexed to find a pretty young woman walking in their winter evening. We still laugh about it, and she said she didn't really think we'd still be doing such things 16 years later. Perhaps if she did, she would have left me before it was too late. We returned in 2012 to find it pretty much uh, unchanged. It was a brilliant summer day and warm enough to sit outside. Even my wife thought it was pretty okay. The full beer looked and tasted as amazing as ever. Um, I returned solo in 2019, November, to check out some more box and fest beers in the area. I had a good stop for both nearby Steve and Limbach, uh, but came up empty at Witzgall. There wasn't any fest beer. It was still great to have the full beer again, and since I had a bit of time before to the next bus, I also tried, tried the Landbier for the first time. Uh, and about the Witzgall Vollbier, it says uh, Brewer Witzgall Town Schlammersdorf style Vollbier, color deep golden, head white, creamy, nose malty, some grain, body full bodied, soft palate, malty, slightly dry, finish dryish, slightly bitter, served on top of the brewery. Impression. The first time I had this beer, it was at the brew pub with my uh, then new girlfriend and now wife. To say that um, 
she was being kind to bring me to this small village is an understatement. It was a dark, cold winter night. It was a um, dark, cold Franconian village. We had no map. It was before we had a GPS and smartphones were a thing of the future. My memory of it is clouded by all these factors, but I remember enjoying the excitement of something so new. I returned um, a few ye years ago with my wife and it was a sunny afternoon and we sat outside. It was entirely different and the beer looked amazing when it was brought uh, out. It was such a full-bodied brew and uh, perfect in this village setting. When most people image, imagine a beer, this is probably what comes to mind. Of course, once they took a sip, they'd likely be pleasantly surprised and it being better than they had imagined. Uh, so, expectations of it, and of course I'm gonna show you also the the books that I'm having that I'm always is showing you with my reviews of Franconian breweries. For example, this one right here. And we have Witzgal, as you can see, the brewery right here. And the book says Helles Vorbier and Unfiltriertes Lagerbier, uh, founded 1761, uh, family owned since 1898. Um, 1200 hectoliters per year, Helmut Witzgall, and I also have, of course, my other book, which is this one, the recommendation, and here you see, Brauereigaststätte Witzgall, Schlammersdorf, um, and um, information is Urisch, Urisch, Urisch. Bischof Adam Friedrich zu Bamberg und Würzburg erteile am 19.10.1761 die Brau-, Schank- und Schildgerechtigkeit für die Schlammersdorfer Brauerei. Seit 1898 stehen hier die Witzgals an Sudhaus und Tressen und stehen für das Wort Ur Urig persönlich ein. Das Schlammersdorfer Landwirt gilt als eines der besten in der ganzen Region und erhält selbst in ihren internationalen Rankings immer wieder gute Noten. Wir fragen uns allerdings, wie es das wir bis dorthin schafft. Dann erstens ist Schlammersdorf einer der verschlafensten Orte, die wir kennengelernt haben. Und zweitens ist das Bier so süffig, dass es kaum durch viele Hände gehen dürfte, ohne getrunken zu werden. Erst das Fass und dann der Krug. Ihr Schwitzkall hält die Tradition, die in den letzten Jahrzehnten vor allem sein Bruder Helmut verkörpert hat. Weiterhin hoch und schenkt das gute Witzkallbier aus. Nach wie vor zählt es für viele zu den besten Kilometern Frankens entsprechend groß, ist auch der Andrang in den kleinen örtlichen Schlammersdorf, das zu Hallenberg, äh, Hallendorf gehört. Damit ist die Brauerei eine von sieben in der Ort und trägt wesentlich zu seinem Ruf als Mekka der Bierfreunde bei. Leider wird der schöne Bierkeller aktuell nicht mehr bewirtschaftet. Vorbeischauen sollten vielleicht trotzdem mal, denn das Ambiente mit dem alten Baumbestand und der Kellerruinen ist einzigartig schön. That's information about the Brauerei Witzgall Schlammersdorf. Now, over to the tasting part of this one. Schlammersdorfer Bräuhaus Witzgall Bier. Vollbier. One last look at the label, which is a great looking label in my opinion. Very classical one. And as I said, I heard very many good things about it. So, Let's open up the bottle, should we? Of course, pour it up in the glass that fits the bear cell very well, uh, in my opinion. See, uh, this 
Very, very minimal bowl surfaces up. Nice, thick, white foam crown. That's the way it should be. Keeping the right taste in the glass and very, very golden, pale color of it. So let's get the aroma of this for beer. Which is very, very nice, well balanced in every way. Perfect balance between the high quality ingredients and the high quality brewing process. That's easy to feel. That's a nice Franconia full wheel, this one. So, but it's gonna be really, really great. And let's give it a try. The Witzgall, well, I full wheel, Schlammerstorf, Prost. Of course, really, really easy to drink, um, and really nice example of the beer style as well. Franconian for beer. Um, I think I'm gonna put it as one of the best uh, for beers, Franconian for beers that I've had, because it's so fresh and so easy to drink, so well balanced, nice um, balance between the hops and uh, the malt of course so big recommendation of course uh, i really hope that you're gonna check out more about this brewery um the Witzgall brewery in schlammerstoff because this one i can compare to to some other favorites like schriffel forbeer and um, spielbacher special uh, this one is that's good. This is still quality design, of course. The thick white foam crown, one finger foam crown is still there. Keeping the right taste in the glass, which in my opinion is really important to keep the, the foam crown all the way down because it keeps the right taste in the glass. So that's on a recommendation from my side. But this one is really, really nice. And um, yeah, of course, I recommend you to uh, to give it a try, and hopefully you can uh, visit the brewery because this small brewery needs to survive. I tend to say that when a brewery is having over one thousand hectoliters per year, it's um, a little bit bigger brewery compared to the small Franconian breweries that I'm liking, and this one is just it's it at the 1000 line so it really needs help and as far as i understand they don't sell so much in getränke marks but mostly in the in their own uh, brewery they do sell their bottled beers so i really think that also the the other beer from this brewery the landbier uh, hopefully i think it's gonna be really really nice but this one is perfect in my opinion so fresh and nice. Uh, just a really nice full beer with its, with its taste. So it doesn't disappoint me at all. And it doesn't kind of disappoint you either if you, um, if you give it a try. But it's, uh, <clears throat> it's really, really refreshing. And thanks also to my friend who did send, send it to me so I can, could try it because I was of course looking forward to it a lot because as you can see it's very classical Schlammersdorf Bräuhaus it's um, simply a fantastic taste of it and really really easy to drink as I said Um, that's it for now. Hope you um, continue to follow my channel for more interesting, interesting uh, Franconia beer reviews. Uh, there is a lot of interesting ones that will be coming up in the future. So hope you look forward to that as much as I do. And um, see you again in next Franconia beer review.